With the background so far, we can now look at a complete detailed example. Here are the steps that we go for a detailed example. We start with an RGB array. There's R, there's G kind of behind it, and there's the third one. So we have R, G, B. So there are three planes. Now, the dimensions are 128 by 128 by three. So what we're going to do is take a three by three by three volumetric mask. That's 27 numbers. And we're going to overlay the mask in this corner so you can see that we're going to cover three deep and three here. That blob of weights is going to multiply the same size blob of data for the RGB and output one number. So there it is, right there. Then we're going to shift this block over by one. That's a stride of one. Repeat the shift, multiply, add 27 times, add the result, and there. And then we'll continue, and when we're all done, Remember, every time we shift and do the multiply adds, we get one number out. So how many times are we going to do this? Well, apart from a possible edge effect, because 3 doesn't divide evenly into 128, we're going to get an array 128 by 128 by 1. So we're going to get one plane. And then what we're going to do with this plane is we're going to do a ReLU, and that gives us one feature map. That's not enough. We're going to repeat for 32 feature maps. Now what do we do? We do a max pooling to reduce that image from 128 by 128 by 1 to 64 by 64 by 1, but then we do it 32 times. So we get a feature stack, and I'm not going to attempt to draw it, it's just a stack of features that are 64 by 64 by 32. So we're going to do another 3 by 3 convolution, except this time it's going to be 3 by 3, and how many planes have we got? we have 32. So instead of the three RGBs, we have 32 uh, planes that we want to create by running the weights over different weights over that entire stack. So you do convolutions, correlations, shift multiply adds with volumes that are 64, that are 3 by 3 by 32 throughout the stack and then you move it across the two dimensions of 64 by 64. Notice that we've lost uh, information by going from 128 to 64, so we're not going to do 32 because we had 32 maps for 128 by 128. We're going to have 64 maps now of 64 by 64 by 64. So there's our stack, and we do convolution and ReLU, and then we're on to the next step, which is keep repeating the procedure that was just outlined until we arrive at a volume of 4 by 4 by n, and n is for you to calculate, and then stop. We're done with the features. We're going into classification mode. We have a volume of data, 4 by 4 by n. We flatten it out into a long vector and start putting it through dense layers. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take that dense layer, 4 by 4 by n, follow it to a 256 neuron layer, 
do the transfers before activations and ReLU and we're on to the next layer. So we have two layered, two dense layers with ReLU and the last one is dense from the 256 neuron layer to a 10 neuron layer. And then we apply the soft max to do our classification.